Adobe's generative AI rocked the world with its endless possibilities. Everybody could try it for free, but this has come to an end. Is there a way around this? Let me explain. Generative AI was introduced in Adobe Photoshop Beta and Adobe's Firefly. With the latest version of Photoshop, the beta is over. From now on, you can use all of Adobe's generative features commercially. So if you want to use generative AI options, you need to update to version 25. Check your version of Photoshop by clicking on About Photoshop. If you still don't see generative AI options, go to Window and make sure the contextual taskbar is selected. You will be welcomed with instructional videos that will help you out if you are a first-time Photoshop user. This guy was fired for smoking weed on the job, and his previous employer wants to remove him from all company photos. There is no time and money for reshooting, so what can they do? They can turn to you asking for help. You just open your Photoshop version 25 and do the magic. Voila, the guy is gone and the client is super happy. The client doesn't need to know you did that in seconds. You will always have three options to choose from. As you can see, Photoshop did an outstanding job. Cloning this will take hours and it won't have such good results. It is not just about removing objects, it is about adding them to your images, but I'm sure you know everything about that by now. From November 1st, Adobe will charge you for this. Why? Because all the generative computing is not happening locally on your computer, you would need to have a very powerful computer for that. Instead of destroying your laptop, this is happening on Adobe servers in the cloud, and generating new pixels requires significant computing power. All of this generating is probably taking a toll on their servers, but like all public companies, they need to make their shareholders and investors happy by making more money. Using generative fill in Adobe Photoshop, text effects in Adobe Express, and generative recolor in Adobe Illustrator will be charged through credits. Based on Adobe's information, removing that unlucky guy will cost you one credit. And how many credits are there, you are wondering? It depends on your plan. If you pay for all apps plan, you will receive 1,000 monthly credits. Unfortunately, you can't transfer unused credits to the next month. It is also important to note that these credits aren't pooled and can't be shared across multiple users. Well, 1,000 credits is enough, you might say, but there is always a but. Based on Adobe's site information, one credit will be charged for standard images of up to 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. They also say that usage rates may vary and plans are subject to change. They haven't been all bells and whistles about this topic, and as you can see, we will have to wait for more information about consumption rates. My example image is 6,000 pixels, so generating a couple of previews from this image can cost 10 credits. There is more. Subscribers of the single app photography plan will receive only 100 credits. Most photographers I know use this plan and will be most affected. There are different plans and options, and because of the different amount of credits at your disposal, you will need to check that for yourself through the link in the description. If you use all the credits, your Photoshop will not freeze. You can still use all the features, but at lower computing speed. How low those speeds are is yet to be revealed. I guess they will be pretty slow, forcing you to buy more credits. For occasional use, that will be fine, but if you are a pro user and make your living out of this, you probably don't have time to wait. If you're an Adobe Express or Adobe Firefly paid user and your credits are over, you can still do two generations of standard images or vector generations daily. And if you are a free user and you have used all of your credits, you will need to subscribe to a new paid plan to continue creating Firefly-powered assets. How to get credits? Adobe plans to charge $5 a month for an additional 100 credits. That is the info for now. There will be more monthly yearly plans for sure. Adobe stock contributors whose images helped build the AI will receive annual compensation. The exact amount is still unknown at this moment. The bonus payment is not guaranteed. It varies for each eligible contributor and is paid at Adobe's discretion. What about pirated versions of Photoshop? Why do I even mention this? Well, Photoshop is one of the most pirated software in the world, and I'm trying to gather all useful information in one place. I don't use pirated software, and I don't encourage you to use them. I have no information about that, but I guess this probably won't work because the app needs to be connected to the internet and verified all the time. It could work for monthly credits, but I don't think you will be able to purchase extra credits for a pirated version. If you are a pirate, purchasing is probably not in any of your plans. One of the new features is that the usage of AI will be shown in image credentials. That option is still in beta for now. For example, if I export my example image from the beginning of the video, you will see that it tells you that AI has been used on this image. But there is a way to trick this. Open a new blank document and apply your modified image to it. 
There is no data on AI usage here. As I said, this is still in beta, and Adobe is probably aware of this. This is a good way to check if images shared with you are in any way enhanced or changed by AI. Let's summarize. How many credits are consumed will depend upon the computer power it takes to use that particular feature. Adobe will introduce new features that will probably consume more credits for higher resolution images. The initial monthly cost for 100 credits will be $4.99. Is there a way around this to trick their system? For now, there is not. Can pirating be the answer? That is definitely not an option. Use your generative AI at full power with no extra cost until November 1st, and I'll see you next time.